welcome to another Home Assistant video. Today we will use the time entity in Home Assistant and convert that from military to AM PM. We will do so in the state action where we will take 1828 and convert it down to 628 PM. Please note that I'm using a fake sensor for the video. Normally you will use the time date platform to expose the time entity. In the video, you will briefly touch a few basic JavaScript elements to create a new date object and secure the proper formatting in our SVG to 6.28 PM. I'll now briefly walk you through each of the topic we will touch today. Firstly, we should touch a few details about how to use the time date sensor. Next up will be exposing our keys with JavaScript in Home Assistant floor plan. We will also see how we can console lock the current entity state for debugging purpose, creating a new date string, passing the date string to a new date. So we have a proper date object in JavaScript and we will use a utility function in Home Assistant to format our string to our needs. We will validate our results and I will show you a shorthand version of the solution in the end. Let's jump right into it. In my sensors.yarn, I've added the time display option for the time date platform. That way we will have the sensor.time exposed. In the video, we are using the template sensor value with a fixed state of 1828. So the time won't change during the video recording. In the SVG file, we are working with the element called custom prefix.text2. We're using the state action. And in the state action, we are using our service called text underscore set with the service data called text. In the text set relation, we have the entity exposed. So if you're using console lock, you're able to see the current state of the given entity. With that in mind, let's expose our entity.state instead. So we have that in our console. The first thing we will do is to pair a string, which we are able to pass into the new date function in JavaScript. Let's call that date time string and just pass in a fake date because we will only use the time in this scenario and our entity dot state. That will give the function a formatted date. Next up is to use our newly created string in our new date function, which will create a new date object in JavaScript. If you're unsure if things are working as expected, you can console lock the current state to see if things are working as it should. Remember to reload your SVG file and let's check the console. Here you can see we have a perfect past date object in JavaScript. With the new date object validated, we're able to start returning our new formatted string. So let's start by creating a new return. And here we will use our utility function in the date object called str if time where we will use a formatting like so and pass in our newly created date object. If we reload the SVG file once again, we now have the correct formatting of our time string. If you're unsure about how to format the date string to your needs, you can Google the function name and just add cheat sheet hereafter. 
and the first result from Google should give you plenty of information on how to use each of the codes. It's great to see that our timestamp is now formatted correctly as AMPM formatting instead of military, but I'll also show you how you can do this in a shorthand expression with a single line of code. Firstly, we will start by pointing to our util function, which we just used. And in here, we will copy paste the format string and create a new date. And in the new date, you will use the entity state as we did here. So let's just copy that. Let's save it and let's reload our SVG and pay attention to the new short string. And as you can see, we now have the multi-line code shorted down to a single one, but giving us the same result. I'll briefly like to mention that we have a great documentation for Home Assistant floor plan, where you can read about details, including the text set floor plan service. We also have a GitHub discussion area where you're able to raise questions for your needs. Normally I will create a new discussion for each of the video uploaded to YouTube, but you're very welcome to create your new discussion by yourself. You're allowed to raise any kind of questions. The only thing I would like you to briefly think about is search in the discussions before you are asking new questions. And that brings us to the end of this video. I would like to thank you for watching and I really hope you will consider pressing the like and subscribe button if you enjoyed it. That will hopefully expand the Home Assistant floor plan user base down the road. I would also like to announce that I'm considering creating other tech related videos on this channel in the near future. So let's stay in touch and I'll see you guys next time around.